Several months back, I did a segment talking about Corian versus granite countertops. And I have a listener who was disappointed in me. He says very specifically, I was disappointed to watch your segment. He was looking at it on YouTube on Corian versus Granite and feel that Corian was getting a bad rap on your show. Hey, I will give you that. From a real estate perspective, my my view on Corian is negative, but it has nothing to do with the the usability and the benefit of the product. It has to do with the fact that I see buyers refuse to buy homes that have Corian countertops and instead choose to buy homes with granite countertops, and I see it all the time. So, I'm just going to give you a couple of tidbits that this person uh, wrote in. I don't have this person's name. I have a username, but I don't have this person's name. It says, Corian is getting a bad rap, an undeserved rap, basically, in my review, in my video. For 30 years, his white Corian kitchen countertops have been pleasant, bright surfaces on which to work. The material allows for invisible seams, and that is true. You'll have seams in granite countertops, but you will not have seams in Corian countertops. Corian is a, a plastic that is molded uh, in the shape of a countertop and designed to look like granite. He says the entire surface is clean and smooth. He said the Corian appears to be a thick slab with a bull nose, but he says that illusion is possible because of the seaming capabilities of the material and the skill of the installers. So the actual thickness of the countertop is not what it appears to be on the end. Uh, he talked about a matte patina on them, which looked good, so kind of a matte finish. He says that they always use cutting boards, and when they cut out the area for his sink, that they actually kept a couple pieces of that to use as cutting boards. So he likes, believe it or not, the sound of Corian when it's knocked on. He says when you knock on it, it makes a sound more like wood. When you knock on granite, it makes a sound like you are knocking on a stone. He says, obviously, the hardness itself is an issue. Glassware and ceramics dependably survive being knocked over on our Corian countertop, meaning I drop stuff on my granite countertop, it breaks, and it breaks fast. Um, I think that's interesting. He can use dish detergent, a bleach solution, baking soda, Windex, or barkeeper's helper is needed to clean it. You have to be careful with what you clean granite countertops with. We had granite countertops in the past and decided... Windex was the best cleaning solution, and it just took all the finish off the countertops over a while, and we had to have them uh, f have to have them refinished. He also says he cleans with micro microfiber cloths and sponges with scrubbies. Um, the reality is, this particular gentleman thinks Corian is a great material for kitchen countertops, and I would agree. People who have Corian kitchen countertops tend to love them. The reality is, is those who have Corian countertops tend to have to replace them because when you sell a home. You're selling and you're attracting buyers by what they want and not necessarily what you want. But thank you so much for writing in and giving us comments on Corian countertops. 